Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today my theme is on control or controlling people. And when we talk about control, uh, we have two aspects of control. There is the negative and there is the positive as with many things uh, in life. What is control? The positive aspect of control is the ability to restrain one's own emotions or actions. According to Galatians chapter 5, self-control is a product of the Holy Spirit. Whereas the negative aspect of control is the power to influence or direct people's behavior or cause of events and I'll be dwelling on the negative aspect of control or controlling people uh, for the reminder of our teaching today. Uh, I will use Romans chapter 16 verses 17 and 18 as a foundation for my teaching today. I appeal to you brothers and sisters to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught avoid them for such persons do not serve our lord jesus christ but their own appetites and by smooth talk and flattery they deceive the hearts of the naive what a wonderful reading what an interesting and powerful reading. I'll read it again. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, to watch out for those who causes division and create obstacles. Contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught, avoid them. For such persons do not serve our Lord Jesus Christ but their own appetites and by their smooth talk and flattery they deceive the hearts of the naive there are controlling people all around us in society in the political arena in government in the public sector in the voluntary sector there are controlling people in our families in our friendship, even in the church and in the Christian community, there are people who will always want to control others. And it is important for you to know that there are people who will always seek to control you in whatever you do. They always poke their nose into your business. And sadly, there are people like that all around us. And so today, I want to share with you some of the things that you need to be aware of, which are found in people who are controlling, and dare I say, who are control freaks. One, people who are controlling, they always keep score. They watch out for everything you do, especially your mistakes. Two, guilt is their primary two. Guilt is one of the most powerful and persuasive tools on earth. No one wants to feel guilty. And therefore, if and when we do feel guilty, we tend to comply with others' wishes. And the terrible part of this is that controlling people knows this and so they use guilt as a mental game as a way of controlling other people and they do this in a manipulative way if somebody around you is always making you feel guilty then that's their strategy of controlling you the third and final thing you need to know about controlling people 
is that they always violate your privacy. Nothing is private with controlling people because they feel entitled to know everything about you. When they do, then they can use those information and knowledge to further control you. So let me just give you a few things that you can do in order to stay away or to be alert about controlling people. Uh, the first is that be honest with yourself. Acknowledge the fact that you are in a situation where you are being controlled because recognizing that you are in that situation is the first step of changing it or providing solutions for the problem. Second, stand up for yourself. And this is a tricky one, especially when the controlling person involved is also physically abusive, which is never acceptable in any way, shape or form. But standing up to someone who is trying to manipulate you will throw them off guard. The moment you stand up against them on their manipulative and controlling behavior, they won't know what to do because they will be caught unawares and therefore stand up against them and challenge them on their manipulative mental games number four get away from them if at all possible remove yourself from that relationship and this is more difficult when this manipulative and controlling person is a family member but if it is someone that you can distance yourself from then do it you need to get as far away from them as possible as that will help break that chain of controlling behavior. As the Bible says, if it is possible, as much as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. And the key word here is as much as it depends on you. So if these people are causing so much pain in your life by manipulating you and controlling you, then you need to get away from them and run as far as your leg can carry you because you can't kill yourself for a person who never appreciates you, value you or respect you. And finally, get help there are many people and organizations that can help you in this situation whether it's a good friend or a family member or a therapist or a shelter you need to find people that can help you in this situation sometimes abusive and controlling relationship can get so bad that you cannot handle it alone and therefore you need to reach out for those who can help you get out of that situation and remember that there are always people with good intentions and goodwill out there who are always willing to help and support you in this situation i appeal to you brothers and sisters to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles. Contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught, avoid them. For such persons do not serve our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own appetites and selfish ambition. And by their smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the hearts of the naive. Dear friend, be aware of a controlling relationship. If you have to play this video over and over again, then do it and pick on those signs 
that you can use to recognize somebody who is controlling you and get away from that abusive relationship. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that we've had together. And we pray and thank you for the Apostle Paul, who wrote so eloquently for the church in Rome. We thank you for learning uh, some of the things that we can use to find out or perceive those who may be controlling our lives and our roles. We pray that you will help us to seek out those people who can uh, support and guide us out of those abusive and controlling relationships. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My dear friends, don't forget to follow me on YouTube and Facebook and share this message. I shall see you soon. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>